My lifestyle is Lushan. If you just found my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you for supporting me here on Lushan's lifestyle. I truly do appreciate you so, so, so much. Now, first and foremost, I don't know what's going on, but if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Like, comment, and share. Um, yeah, I don't know. YouTube's tripping. I don't know with putting me out there or whatever. But anywho, if you're watching, go ahead and subscribe. Doesn't cost you a thing. So today's video is my mid-month check-in and this is for the month of April and this will cover what I have done from the beginning of the month up until the 15th so if you want to see how well I've been doing with my cash then please continue watching all right so I'm in the um, the calendar dashboard layout of my planner and the only thing I need to do here uh, basically is check off um, what has cleared thus far um, and then just kind of give you a recap of my no spend. So I am going to be doing from the 1st up until the 15th. So all of these um, expenses, bills and expenses, they have been done. And although my pay is here, my payday is here on the 6th, but you see bills here, I do a rollover for the entire month. So I do a rollover that carries over from the previous month into the current month. That way I can make sure these are covered before my actual payday. And then I make sure I cover everything else up in, um, to my next payday. So yeah, so all of these have cleared up until right here which is the 15th. Um, I did really well like the first part of the month or the first week of the month with my no spend. So you can see here clearly I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, almost a perfect week. And then like I fell off the wagon starting with the 10th and I've been spending every day since. So I got to get back on track because, yeah, I, I've been doing some damage with my cash envelopes. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, so as I said, um, I'm dealing with a budget of $5,800 for the month of April. And then I rolled over $1,053.84 from uh, March's budget in order to, in order to cover... Uh, my bills and expenses so um household transfer i've only done half of that because i do half and half per check and so i'm not going to mark that off because i still that has not completely uh, been transferred over um my gym was the 23 dollars and 42 cents and life insurance came out and that was 154.89 that's two uh and i'm actually going to um probably start a sinking fund for this to just pay for it for at least six months or a year because the premiums are not that much where um i couldn't pay for it you know for a whole year so yeah, I'm definitely gonna look into seeing, cause there's multiple premiums in here. So I'll see which ones that I can easily just pay for the year. That way I don't have to worry about it at being a line item in my budget. Um, next is Black Queen. She got paid. Um, my American Express Gold. This is my current snowball item. So I did pay the minimum payment of $165 for that and on my next paycheck I will pay my put my snowball payment towards it I'm looking to have that paid off um, by the summer <clears throat> excuse me let me take a quick look at my debt elimination plan yeah hopefully by July that will be gone 
Um, and then I can use that money to go towards paying off my BBVA compass, which hopefully will be paid off shortly thereafter, a couple of months thereafter. Um, my XM satellite radio, that was 683, that came out. Um, my personal loan, again, this one will be my focus for paying off after I pay off Black Queen, oh, not Black, I wish. Um, once I pay off the American Express goal, um, and then next will be Compass. And I think, let me just take another real quick look at my plan. That will be paid off in November of this year. So I should have two of those, those both gone um, this this year. Um, next is my AT&T cell phone, and that was paid my Netflix and my Amazon music were both paid so yeah so that's where I stand as far as everything has come out the way it needed to um, let's scroll down here for cash envelopes I did take out the $400 and for my cash envelopes I do one stuffing I um, take out the money at the beginning of the month and then just track it for the remainder of the month to make sure I can kind of uh, work with the $400. So let's go ahead and take a look um, at the um, cash envelopes. Okay, we're at the tracker and basically for gas, I have three envelopes. I've pared them down from four to three. And I have gas, I put 120 for the month, personal 240 and giving 40 um, for the first through the 10th because it was only the, like three days for that week. So I just lumped it all into one and made this a extra extended week. Um, I spent $40 for gas, so I currently have $80. Personal, I started at $240 and I spent $129. So that left me at $111 to get through the rest of the month. And then giving, I started at $40 and I did give out $9. So I'm at $31 there. Um, so that starts my week, my next week at $80, $111, and $31 um, for uh, this and I have been spending as y'all can see um, on the, on the uh, calendar dashboard layout that yeah I kind of lost my mind with spending but I gotta rein it in because yeah I'm not gonna make it if I keep doing what I'm doing yeah so that's just super not smart so yeah so that's where I stand with um, my check-in everything is uh, doing what it's supposed to do Except for me spending a little bit too much. I need to rein that in. But other than that, everything is on track. So we shall see how I end up for the month. Um, I definitely got to kick in my no spends because this is ridiculous. <laughs> but anywho, that is my um, mid-month check-in for the month of or part of the month of April. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Like, comment, and share with your family and friends. And until my next video, hugs and love. Bye.